Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Pinehead.tv. You can follow me on Twitter at Anthony D. James. Today we're going to be going over toolbars and navigation bars. Before we get started, I'm going to give a brief overview of where we are. And if you need to take, a, take time to create this document, you can also download this document from Pinehead.tv. Uh, to get you started. So first what I want to do is I want to address the source links for jQuery and jQuery mobile. Just this past week they came out with alpha version 4. Now as you know we're actually learning this before the final release of jQuery mobile so they are frequently changing the alpha versions. If you want to go ahead and alter your document to be the alpha version 4 basically all we did was change our 3's to 4's for moving from version 3 to version 4 and let's get started. What we have here is our data role equals page Inside of that, we have our header. Clean that up a little bit. And then after our content area, we have our footer. Now, what does that look like right now? Right now, we have our footer and we have our header. Okay, so let's add some content to that and see what happens. So I'm going to grab my trusty lorem ipsum. Let's save it. Let's open up Safari. You refresh it, and we have our header, and then we have our footer. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add fixed positioning. We want the header and footer to always be on the top and always be on the bottom, no matter where on the page we are. So let's say we want the header to be here now and the footer to be here now, even though we're in the center of the page. We do that very easily by going to the, the DIV, the div data header, the div header, that, say that three times fast, and we'll just add an attribute inside the div, which is data-position equals fixed. We're going to do the same thing on the footer, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to get rid of that a little bit. Data-position equals fixed. We'll save it and come back over to our Safari browser. Refresh it, and you'll see that our footer automatically appeared. Our header is up there, of course, because we're at the very top of the page. But if we browse down just a little bit and stop moving, there's our header and our footer. So no matter where you are in the page, you're going to see the navigation menu. Now this is good because on Android devices, your navigation is actually on the top. On iPhone devices, your navigation is on the bottom. Now that's native applications, not web-based applications. So this allows you to mimic native applications much easier. So let's say what we want to do now is we want to add a navigation bar to the header. Okay, that's actually really simple. We're going to leave our title in there, Pinehead TV. Let's put a dot. You can find us at pinehead.tv. And then let's go ahead and create a div data dash role equals navbar. And we're going to encompass that inside of ul and li list elements. Let's give it an ahref. Let's give it a nav1. To make it simple, we can just copy it save our document and head over to Safari and see what has happened. Okay, so what has happened is we now have our navigation inside of our header. If we browse down, it's still going to appear there. Same concept for the footer, guys. Let's cop let's go ahead and just copy our copy our information here. I'm going to get rid of lorem ipsum so you can see what I'm doing. I've changed the uh, the resolution a little bit because I've got some comments saying the resolution was a little bit bad. Uh, if you guys think the same or give me some comments or feedback and let me know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paste this nav bar inside the footer. Let's add our lorem ipsum back to mimic our content. Let's save and open up Safari. And great, now we have a footer navigation and we have a header, header navigation. And you can have either or, that's perfectly fine. It's not a problem at all. What you can do is you, if you actually click on it again, it appears and reappears. That's not automatic, that's only if you re-click again. So let's say that we're looking at a picture or we don't want the full screen header and the full screen navigation bar to auto, always appear. Because as you can tell, it actually appears over a little bit of our content. So let's say we, we by default don't want it to appear, but we want the option for it to appear. Sounds like a mouthful now, but let, let me go ahead and just show you what I'm talking about. By coming up to the data page, the div that contains the data role equals page, let's add an attribute of data dash full screen equals true. 
Now what that's going to do is if we refresh, it's going to automatically disappear. And we click on it again and it reappears. Now this is good if for some reason you want to show a full page. Pretty simple, huh? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Let's resave it. And let's look at some icons within our navigation bar. So we have our we have our navigation bar. Let's see what that looks like one more time. This is our navigation bar. Let's add, let's say we want this to be a delete, a delete button or a settings button. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to come in here and it has an attribute of A. We're going to give it a data-icon equals delete and save it and see what happens. Oh, there's our delete icon. We can do the same thing over here, data-icon equals delete. And now we have two icons. Now these icons are actually built into jQuery mobile. There's um, 20 or 30 different ones. You can find that on the documentation source, but we're just going to use delete. Okay, the next what we can do is we can actually change the position of this icon on the button. So let's say we want to move it to the bottom. I haven't actually looked this up yet, but I think this is going to work. Icon position equals bottom. Refresh it, and it didn't work. So hold on real quick, guys, while I go look up that attribute. Okay, it looks like they're still working on that feature. By default, the icon sits on top of it. What they're going to do is they're going to build in an option that allows to uh, allows that not to sit on top. And so far, the position is we have the data icon position to give it just the top as of now. So we'll go ahead and just delete that for now. And uh, there's a few other things we can look at. Um, star. If you go to star, and let's bring up our Safari, refresh it, and you'll notice that's a star. So guys, this was a real quick introduction to uh, toolbars. Uh, you have the navigation bar, you have the header bar, you have the footer bar. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm also taking recommendations. I have a few shout outs in the coming tutorials for people who have recommended ideas uh, for me to do. So I appreciate your time, everybody, and I look forward to seeing you next time.